Hello, a YouTube, and a welcome to another ranked joust with a tire video game. Uh, today, the enemy first picked Ares. And so I picked Ares' biggest counter, Baron Som Danker. I love me some Baron Somdi. I kind of want him to pick a pressure character. That would be good. What does he even have available? I mean, he can pick whatever he wants, I guess, but... You do you. Hachiman's probably safer, but... And if he wants to play something else, I'm cool with it. But uh, the idea here is uh, Ares. Very good at... Hi, Misty. At shutting down uh, opposing tanks. Right? Because a lot of tanks are dash or jump reliant. And the big thing is they don't have slow immunity. There are like two characters in the tank role that have slow immunity through a normal non-ult ability. That's Kabraken and that's Baron. So when they pick Ares, you're kind of looking to pick Kabraken or Baron. <laughs> those, are, those are the first things that come to mind. Uh, other characters can deal with them. But uh, yeah, the slow immunity definitely helps a lot. The nice thing about Baron, too, is I can ult his ult. There are a number of characters that can do that as well, like Jing Chen's a decent character into Ares, but Baron Somni just kind of like masters the anti-Ares strategy the best. He's got the slow immunity on the normal ability through the two. He's got the uh, the root for the Ares, because the Ares is trying to, you know, get pretty close and hit those chains. So I can just like stop him real quick and then like free combos for the squad. And of course, like I just said, uh, you can ult his ult. So, it is, like, not the easiest of easy matchups because you can't just ult him because he'll ult you back type of thing. And your ult lasts three and a half seconds. His ult lasts uh, three seconds. So, you can't just force it, like, super hard. I do believe it's 3.5. Yeah, 3.5. Ares is three. Oh, 2.5. Huh. Even better. Baron but it's Baron Zombie time. I am so heckin' ready, dude. So heckin' ready. Hopefully, we'll be able to make this work. They ended up going Vamana, which is a very easy way to get on me, right? I can't really stop a Vamana from hitting me. But if I can survive him by building a tanky build, I should be in a good spot. You see Promise in G13 Potato? Dude, G13 Potato D has been in the past two games. Actually, three games, I think, maybe. And he has been owning. He's probably been the best player on our team. I'm not even going to lie in terms of like performance and decision making this dude is a beast and we keep playing against the same guys too <laughs> hasn't let us guys hasn't let us down yet yeah who could it be who could g13 potato be misty g13 potato hit nikki all right i'm gonna get baron's boo uh i could go breastplate rush and feel pretty good here I think I'm going to do that, actually. Because I can avoid Ares pretty well, so I'm not too worried about the uh, physical defenses or magical defenses early on. I think I'm just going to go Breastplate into probably a Thebes here. I could also go the Baron build that I've been working on, which is Breastplate into Warlocks into Mantle slash Spirit Robe. Would be Mantle this game. Um, What do we get here? Sprint. Sprint to avoid the guy who is doing the chain thing, just in case I fail. Yeah, drop my two over. And that should be enough, I think. Yep, that's good. Not landing my autos on the big guy. Kind of awkward, but... Alright. We have cut it down. Do the wave we go. Unlucky. And here we go. So it begins. The Ares punish game. I'm down to just sit here in mid and just whack him a little bit. I got the potions. Yielded arrow, okay. Okay, got a stash out with my three. Big. They did that thing again where the they have one guy that's soloing the blue buff, so they get level four earlier. Interesting strategy. Overall, I'm not thinking it's super worth, but... Right, they have triple beads. No blinks at all. 
So I'm going to be a little careful. A uh, Baron at early game isn't exactly the strongest thing, especially since I'm a damage character trying to build defense. So I need to like finish some items here before that becomes uh, really good for me. We're going to have to delay this purple by a bit. But we'll be looking for poke where we can find it. And punishing the Ares. That's what we're looking for. Punish, punish, punish him. We're just playing the sustain game. Red's gonna come up. We're gonna have to do something very feisty to avoid. Um. Oh wait, I can actually ult Ares here. He does have beads, but. He's gonna hit five. I'm kind of careful here. But now I don't have CC immunity. I'll sprint him for the safety. We can sneak this, maybe. Yeah, we can. He has impale. I hope. Nice. Yeah, saving his jump is really good. Really good play from on her. He doesn't want to use the jump until uh, Lamani used the ult. Purple beads, though, so don't have to worry about a blinking guy. I think we do just give them the purple. Let them have it. Because I can't really contest the Ares without um, any CC immunity here. I didn't go beads, so. I gotta chill. We might even have to give up our blue. I'd love to contest this, but I'm gonna have to play very far here. Alright, they're not even coming. Alright, cool. Huge! Right, I got all in 25. Don't want to get caught off guard by the Ares. We are letting them have this purple. Completely fine. Once again, just gotta be careful of the Ares ult. Doesn't have blink. Not too worried about him closing the gap. Well played, well played. Right, grabbing this breastplate now. Looks like everyone's falling back. That way we'll just stall. This guy's rushing Berserker Shield versus that guy's rushing Thebes, it looks like. But I just rushed Thebes here. Normally I would go Breastplate or Thebes and then Breastplate if I'm going to build like this. But I'm kind of trying to bridge my weaker early by getting the Breastplate first. Just so I am a little bit more impactful in the early stages. Instead of having to, you know, wait for my Thebes to get stacked and all that. They are a double phase comp, so. It should work out nicely for me. We must acquire a rock. That's all you. Take this jungle book. <laughs> no, my rocks! Wait, he doesn't understand the secret code where you have to give me that. You have to give me the little rocks if you want the big one. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm actually gonna get um a blue breastplate upgrade here. It's really good against Vamana. We'll see. Right. Got that. I think I want to get the timer, perhaps, on this purple buff. That should be good. Yeah, okay. Don't want to use my ult on that guy, but I am completely fine just poking the freak out of him. He has one health pot. No chalice yet, so I am more than happy to just whap him. As much poke as possible. No heal. Sad champ. Oh, he's gonna have to impale it. Oh, maybe. I'll simply walk away. Ares still has ult. Okay. Nice. Here comes that guy. <laughs> Double kill. It's it's a awesome. Mana. Mana. So we are teaching these guys a lot about jazz right now. They are learning. Oh yeah, that's right. Leave me them rocks, boy. <laughs> no regrowth? Nah. Not a big fan of regrowth on Baron. I just don't think it's necessary. 
You already moved fast enough with the heal. I think unless you like really need the regrowth, it's just not a great item to grab. I will go Thieves in Tin. Another option that I could go is, uh, I've been working on this one recently, is Warlocks. I've been liking Breastplate, Warlocks, Mantle. I think I said that earlier, but just to reiterate it, quite a cool build that I've been liking on Baron recently. Like to zoom? Yeah, there's nothing like inherently wrong with doing that. This guy is just going to dash every time I root him, isn't he? I'm cool with that. My dash, or his dash, is much longer CD. Snake him! Wait, there's a snake! A real life snake! Dash? Alright, cool. Or dash too. As long as I can do it safely, I'm cool with dropping that. Like her dash is down now. That's crazy that she ults that. Alright, gotta be kinda careful of this with Mana, right? On her no jump. Ooh. I don't want to ult the Ares unless he ults first. Yeah, this is... Hey, Smite, you fire. Okay. That's hitting me for some reason. And he did. Can't even ult. As well, come back. <laughs> come on, it! And I'll stop their backs for fun. Because I'm a fun hacker. Oh, I love Baron Zombie. Gives you some power? Yeah, he gives you power for three seconds. <laughs> Not a very long time there. Alright, we'll get um, Relic Dagger, and I'm going to do something devious with this next item. I think I'm going to grab a Bracer. I'm not going to have Med, but I think Bracer is going to be really, really strong against this Vamana in particular. Ooh, Anti-Crit is a possibility for me. This is going to really up the value of me getting Blue Breastplate. Because Blue Breastplate, after I ult, reduces the amount of auto attack damage I take. By, I believe it's 25%. And I can share that to my teammates in a 60 unit aura around me. Good kick. Oh, he got me! He got me! Let's celebrate! So, against crit. It's actually better than um, Spectral Armor. But of course, I only get to use it off my ult, so. Okay, reduce the dash down. I think I'm going to grab Bracer T2, like I often do when I get my second relic. I just grab the T2 immediately, and then just stack up. Do normal snackage. But this Thieves is going to be super nice for me, super nice. Are we just gonna eat that? Sheesh! What a machine! So I can grab Racer T2 and grab this. And I need to hit 60 instances of damage before that Bracer's done, which will give me a lot of nice time to stock up for this uh, Relic Dagger. And movement speed is the nicest stat to have not only on Vamana but against Vamana. <laughs> so, gonna be real nice once I get this Bracer done. Oh, this guy got a red pot. He's not messing around. He's ready to play this very slow game with more power. So, we do have to kind of watch out for this Medusa. He did do that wrap around on the couple red buffs ago, I think. It was a little spooky. I should put that Bracer further up. I think I want him to take this every time. Oh, 
Oh, got a dash. I'm liable to getting air resulted. This guy hits me for 49. A little weak there. I thought the Ares was going to ult me, honestly. That was kind of weird that he didn't. I'll take it. Yep, and he got it. <laughs> Yo, it's Derrickle. He did just... Or just Aegis. Might be able to pay. Turn the, turn the tide here. Yeah. We're creating space. I think the best thing they can do is go for fire. They could try and push this, but should be able to defend relatively easily. Yeah. They are too scared to push this. Alright. She's gonna let me get a free back. Alright, that guy is not pathing towards fire. Huge. I think I grabbed my glyphs now. To get glyph of breastplate of vigilance here. Hope the buff is spawning soon. Your middle tower Take a peek -see. Nope. Oh, he leashed it. Oh, he's noon. Let's see. We have a sentry ward in there? Sheesh! I'm kind of down for that. Right. Maybe I should be putting that bracer even further up than I am already. Yeah, probably should have. I can use the bracer as a ward on fire as well, and Gilgamesh or on her can go solo it at any time. I do think that this game is gonna can end up as one of those games where we can just send one guy solo fire. Pretty good. We did take. Uh, oh no, we didn't. We didn't take Medusa's red pot. I was gonna say we did, but we did not. Maybe all by a red pot. Thoughts? Ow. 87. So painful. Little healage. No immune. Hmm. This is great. I'll put this here. Nice and aggressive bracer. Okay, take my ult for that. It's fine. Probably need to save this guy. Nope. No worries at all. No worries at all. Tough. Alright, we just play this slow. This is a little awkward scenario we're in, actually. We did get the red, so that's nice. Okay. That was dash. A rock? We fight this. Let's fight for this rock. Should be okay. Even bracer him just in case he needed the movement speed. Be right back. Bye now. Bye now. <laughs> That's on me. Yeah. Ares definitely doesn't have ult. Oh, that is not great. But, I'm tanky. Okay, got her dash. We pressure the tower now. Medusa, no dash. Oh, yeah! Baron Somdi. The king we need. What an OP character. I will get, um... What do I want here, guys? I just get this. I actually don't know what I want. I'm just gonna grab a red pot for now. And then I'll grab a couple of these. Very close to upgrading my, uh, my relic. Well, if he doesn't want that speed, I mean, I don't mind if I do, you know what I'm saying. I honestly don't have no idea what I want. Maybe a Midgard. Oh, I know, I'm supposed to get Antigrid. Durr. A duh. Alright, so this should be the last bracer that's not a. Awesome bracer. Oh, well, that's not awesome. That was less awesome than awesome. And online. Right now.
Oh, he might have dashed out of base. Well, that guy is feeling the Ares right now. I gotta run. I'm so fast. <laughs> Am I fast or is he slow? Which one is it? He has haste and katana and he couldn't touch me too. <laughs> That's great. I didn't even have Bracer Frog. I wonder how he was so slow. Maybe I have some absolute beast on my team. Could be it. That must have been the reason I survived. Mana. Oh, this guy is going heavy into crit. That's devious. Absolutely. So, it's not a guaranteed one yet, but it might as well be. We still have to play with our heads on straight, that's for sure. I can brace us over. We can just abuse the Ares again. That's a beads. Oh, I still have my AoE breastplate. Tagged him with my Baron one, which is OP. And it's over! <laughs> I love the Baron into Ares matchup. I bet you that guy was feeling real happy with the position he was in. What do you guys think? <laughs> Alright. Well, GG's. I think I would have finished that build with, what, Spectral, and then I kind of have a, a free slot with uh, which I can do whatever I want. I think um, Void Shield would have made a lot of sense since I've got a double Fizz comp, and we are just looking to burst uh, the tanks. I think I could have gone a Damage Item. Would have been nice. Like I could have got an E-Staff, perhaps. To make it even harder for Medusa to shred through me because she's not going chins, though Vamana was probably going to do it himself. I could have got a winged blade if I really wanted to just be a really mobile guy. A talisman could have helped out, but I don't really want to itemize super heavy into magic D against a uh, solo magic damage Ares. But talisman would have been fine. Like, he's doing a lot of damage still just through change and mystical. And I'm mainly buying it for the aura. So we'd have like talisman and shoguns. Which is super nice for on her, who doesn't have an attack speed stim. And then between the sprint, bracer, talisman, there's just like no way this Vamana's ever catching. Even if my on her jumps, you know? Like that's the whole idea behind the build is I'm keeping on her as safe as possible while punishing Ares as much as possible. Because <laughs> that guy was uh, probably in the worst state of his existence in that game there. Put up a 6k, 0-4. He was not feeling too great there. But we will take that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, so, yeah. Just the last slot is kind of just a flex slot for whatever you want. You wouldn't always go anti-crit, of course. I only went anti-crit because the Medusa is going heavy into crit. And like I said, the Breastplate of Vigilance actually is better than... Um, uh, 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 what's it called? Spectral at reducing damage from critical strikes because spectral reduces the extra damage that critical strikes do to you it doesn't reduce the actual base auto attack damage of the guy chucking the auto breastplate of vigilance reduces the entire basic attack damage by 25 percent so it's actually better than a spectral against crit like i was saying uh in the video or earlier in the game rather but of course you can only use it around your ultimate so Yep, good game. Last slot, flex item. Would have turned the starter into alternate timeline. Just been super tanky, super enable my uh, on her Gilgamesh even a little bit. And it would have been a good time. Love it. GG, so hope you guys learned something about uh, how bad Baron dumpsters Ares. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy, and I will see ya. Detail screen one more time in the next one.